All right, so we've had a lot of rain where we live and we're gonna have a little fun. We thought about taking our bikes down to the creek. And riding through the creek. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna ride our bikes through the creek. Three, two, one, get across that creek, go. Pedal, pedal, ha ha. Pedal, buddy, yeah. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Keep going, almost there. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Look, he pulled his pants down, that is awesome. Ooh wee! Pants? <laughs> Your pants are falling off, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, he's gonna do it again. Look at the river. Look at the creek. Whoosh! Ooh wee! That is awesome. <laughs> Oh, it is. It is really deep. Let's go look at it. I wonder how it got flooded. Had a lot of rain. Usually we, we set our trap right out there underneath that. There's two square uh, things that used to hold up the bridge, the old bridge. What do you think about all this flooding, JT? It's, it's better than just staying a trap. <laughs> you want to set a trap out today? Maybe in that water. <laughs> Maybe in that water. <laughs> oh man, this is fun coming down here. You want to ride it across it again? Yeah! All right, let's do it. Show me how to do it. Ugh. Whee! Be strong when you're doing this type of flood thing. Come on, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> I can't keep balancing this, but it is cool. Rah, 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 Go fast so I can go fast. The creek is the boat motor. Yes. Yeah. All right, that is fun. The creek is the real boat motor there. <laughs> like father, like son, I guess. I don't think mama's too happy about this, but it'd be all right. <laughs> Look at this water, man. 
go all the way across. Look how deep it is. Let's see if we can get a rock in the air. Whoa. Your shoe came off? <laughs> Bring it back. <laughs> Oh, put it on. Ooh, it's really dark under here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, the bridge is together. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, go put your shoe on. <laughs> <laughs> Your sock is your shoe now. <laughs> My shoe is, is gone. So usually right down here is a bunch of rocks and we set the crawfish out and it's all flooded right now. Let's see if we can ah, skip a rock. Let's see if we can do that. Here we go. Yeah, it skipped a little bit. Anyways, having fun at the creek even when it's flooded. You get your shoe on, big boy? Yes. You wanna go across one more time? I wanna go across one thousand times. A thousand more times? Alright, ready? <laughs> Are you gonna run across it? <laughs> oh, poor treatment of our bikes, but it's okay the trick and handle it yes you can you're gonna run across he wants to swim across no don't swim in the water okay <laughs> oh, oh this is what you do when you don't have a pole i guess check it out all right let him have some fun see you in a minute What you want to say? Rocks over there. <laughs> All right, see your pedals now. Go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was fun. You can find an adventure if you want to. All right, buddy. What do you want to tell everybody? We're about to head back up. We'll see you on the next backwards adventure. Nailed it. Nailed you nailed it. it. Yes, you did. Let's go back up to the house and see mama. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hey, Jay, look who we found! Mama! We found Mama! We found a tree, Mama! We found the coolest thing. We were riding under the bridge through the creek. I'm glad you didn't go on your brand new bike. <laughs> you think you would have got in it? <laughs> Let's go, JT! I'm gonna beat you to the house! Come on, let's race! Come on! Oh, almost there! Almost there! Uh, 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 uh. Yes! Come on! You are the champion of the world! Yeah. Alright! Ah. 
What do you want to tell everybody, JT? We'll see you on the next Nailed It adventure. Nailed it! Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it! <laughs> All right, so after you get your bike good and wet, you've got to make sure you clean it or it's going to not be any good. So we've got our bikes here, my chain rings and everything. WD-40, what it's all about. WD-40 is not a lubricator though. What it does is it displaces water. So any water in there, it's going to kick it out of there. So leave this down, JT, and I want to spray all over the place. And that will displace the water that you got on your bike and make sure you put it anywhere that you care about spinning or moving. Yeah. My pedals. Yep. I can't do it like that. I'm gonna help you out in a minute, buddy. All right, get it like that. Spin your wheels, get everything real good. You don't need too much. Just enough to get the water out of it and that should be good. All right, let's get JT's. Get them inside there on his chain. Can, can I, I see a little rust already. Here, spray a little bit, buddy. Let's do it together. One, two, three, and there we go. That's good. It doesn't go. It goes a long ways. A little bit goes a long ways. Now you just kind of wipe it down. I like to let it sit for about five, ten minutes. We'll wipe it down, and it will be good. We won't have any rust. Again, thanks for watching. If they like this stuff, what should they do? Nailed it, nailed it. They should nailed it, nailed it? Yes. <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs>
the camp. Cause it's gonna be 20 to 20 degrees tonight. It's gonna be 20 degrees tonight, Daddy. Well, we don't need a camp then, do we? Well, we've had a good day today. Man, it's been such a good day. The weather's beautiful. It's wonderful. Yes, it is. A little water here and there, bike ride, and all types of fun stuff. JT, have you had a good day today? Yes. All right. Um, so we're going to cook ourselves some shish kebabs. What do you want to tell everybody, JT? Have a good day. We will. We're going to eat these up. I hope you like our new contraption here, our tripod grill. We'll let these cook for a while. We'll tell you how this goes. All we did was season with some salt and pepper. You want to tell anything, anybody, about the food? They're six kebabs. <laughs> Say that again. They're six kebabs. The six kebabs. That's right. We're going to let these cook for a while. Slow cooking is good. All right. I think tomorrow night will be a good night to camp. I don't know because I don't know what breed is going to be tonight. You know, if it's not too cold, we might get out there and do a little camping. Maybe we can find a place on the other side of the river. We can drive the boat across the river and maybe camp over there. It's a great grill, isn't it? Yes, we can. We will do that. We'll bring everything we need when we go camping. You think we'll make a video about it? Yeah. So instead of bringing a tent, can we build a shelter? Maybe we could even do both. Yeah! <laughs> You know mama, mama's not gonna sleep outside with us. We'll have to sleep all by ourselves. Just you and me. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> I think it'll be good. Maybe we can catch some fish, cook the fish on there. Yeah. If we go, we'll, we'll just bring extra food on the boat, right? We can do that. We can bring anything you want. Maybe you could have a cup of noodles. <laughs> Will that make you happy? Yeah, I'll, I'll make the cup of noodles in just a bit. <laughs> Can we bring our shish kebabs? Alright, so one of the ways to know that your shish kebabs are ready to turn over is they don't stick. A lot of people don't realize that. If they don't stick, that means it's good to go. You can see how they lift right up. I know I used to use all that oil and on my grill and everything. And that would keep them from sticking. But it would flame up. Well, you don't have to do that. Just sit there. As long as it's not too, too hot, and you can just wait till the meat actually releases. And uh, you're good. It'll release on its own. Some salt. And a little, little bit of pepper. Here we go. That's going to be good. All right, we'll let those cook for a little while. What's cool about this is you can lower it down where you want it. Yes, that'll be perfect. Maybe a little bit too low, and I'll pick it up. There you go. Very good. What do you think, JT? Cool. Very cool. Those are going to be some good shish kebabs, huh? Yeah. And when you put coal in it on fire, it'll make it really big. <laughs> Poppy threw a little 
Shish kebabs are finally done. They take a little while on the campfire, but that's okay. You can take and raise this up. That's amazing. Check it out. And then we're just going to take it and put them on there. Here's my plate. The plates. This is my plate. Mm -hmm. All right. Daddy, put it on. Here you go, JT. Here's yours, buddy. Bring it here. Bring your plate. Oh, we lost an onion. I got the onion right here. All right. Shish kebab. These look like they're in good shape. Bread. That's a good shape. Mm. I like to eat. Throw another piece of wood on there. pretty good. Let's see what, how it tastes. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff. <laughs> JT. Mm. What do you think? The steak is good. Alright, eat it up. Mm. Okay, mama's plate got sauce all over it. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. We have a fire. We always like to roast some marshmallows. And JT's going to show you what we're doing here. Why is the, why are there sticks in the water? Um, these, the six of Bob's sticks have to soak in the water for a minute or two to get kind of the water if the marshmallow gets on fire the water will help it that's right so those those sticks in the water for you know 20 30 minutes and they won't burn very quickly so let's pop some marshmallows on there get yes. you one and the put the marshmallow on the point of the stick and slide it down make sure you don't poke your finger and don't slide it down too much. If you slided it down too much, put it up a little and put it over the fire. All right, show us how you like it. And do you put it, it in the fire? Do I like? I like it got in the fire. And if it get, catches on fire and the stick doesn't help, just blow the fire off. Ah, <laughs> good job. <laughs> oh, is it done yet? <sighs> A little coal got on the stick. Yeah. And if there's any coals on the stick, just blow them out. They're very easy to blow out. All but right. if they're big, just put the marshmallow in and put a new marshmallow on the stick. All right. So and is that one ready to eat? So um, you cook it on here for about one or 15 minutes. 
And when it's finished, and if there's a big fire on there, just do two blows or three, it'll be out. All right. Is that one ready to eat? <clears throat> Only if the whole thing is crispy, it'll be ready to eat. Okie dokie. But it... And if the whole thing isn't crispy, you can still eat it. Sometimes you can do it underneath fires or on fires or in the middle of the fires or on top. You can do it any way you want to. That one looks like it's ready to eat to me. Yeah, it's almost ready. It's a few more minutes and it'll be ready. <laughs> <laughs> now, All right. This one's ready. Pull it off with your hands and eat it. We want to see what it tastes like. Tell everybody what it tastes like. It's really good when they're crispy. <laughs> All right. This is my way to do it. I like to just get them a little bit of toasted brown. I try not to catch them on flames, but sometimes it just happens. So I keep it spinning. Oh, don't get it in the, in the fire too long. Let it toast. I like a toasted one. Ooh, yeah. Sugar, which marshmallow, that's all it is, burns. Here. Oh, I got burned. I didn't get toasted, so. All right, I'm gonna just pop it in my mouth and it will be gone. What do you think, buddy? You wanna eat it? <laughs> You've got marshmallow everywhere. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you like this stuff. If they do, what do they do, JT? Like and subscribe for marshmallows, nailed it, marshmallows. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching.